and welcome back to Love Your Food. This week we are doing a beautiful and simple beer battered fried fish. And it's a very, very easy recipe. It uh, does involve some frying, of course. We're not gonna be deep frying this. We're actually gonna keep this more to sort of a shallow fried sort of situation. But uh, really, really delicious, easy way to enjoy fish. And here we go with our ingredients. So we have some beautiful white fish. We have some halibut here. We're gonna be using an egg, a little bit of salt, some mustard powder, some dried mustard, some just a simple lager. We have uh, Moosehead Canadian lager here and some cake flour. And you're also gonna want some regular flour for dredging in, but the, the batter we're gonna make out of cake flour. So uh, first thing we did was we skinned our fish, uh, checked it for bones. We wanna make sure that there's, uh, you pull any pin bones out of there and everything like that. And then we're just gonna divide this into uh, portions and we're just gonna keep this into uh, fish finger sized portions. And then we're gonna start getting our batter ready. Now, while you're doing this, you do wanna make sure that your oil is heating up because you want that to be ready when the batter's done. So we've got our egg, our salt, uh, the mustard. And we're just gonna mix that uh, together. We're just gonna um, just give it a little stir with our fork until it's all well combined. And then that's just about ready to go into our uh, batter. So the next thing we want to do is get our beer ready. So we're not going to use this whole tall boy. We're going to use only about a cup of it. And you do want to make sure uh, that some of the things that we're using uh, stay cold while we're doing this. So you want to make sure that the beer is quite cold and you want to be careful when you're pouring it because you do want to make sure that it's still foamy and frothy and everything. Uh, we want all that beautiful aeration in the, uh, in the batter. So you do want to make sure that everything is still in good shape when it goes in. So pour that carefully. I know it looks a little silly, but you do want to pour that as carefully as you can. There you go. And in goes the wet ingredients. So we added our eggs, we added our beer, and we're just going to stir this until it comes together. It's okay if it has some lumps and everything to it uh, before it hits the hot oil. You just want to make sure that there are no pieces of unmixed flour. So if there's some lumpy bits, as long as they're mixed in, it should be just fine. But uh, you, don't, you don't want any dry flour in there at all. So once that's mixed together, we're just going to get everything together. So we've got our uh, beautiful white fish here. We're going to just dredge that in flour briefly. Tap off any extra. And you just want to make sure it gets a nice even coating of flour. And there we go, that's all set. And then that goes right into the batter. And once you've got that um, battered up, we're just gonna bring that right over to our hot oil. We have it on our induction range here. We have it on our uh, induction burner. And that's gonna go straight into there. Now you can see it's not floating around. It's actually sitting uh, pretty close to the bottom there. This is just shallow frying. We're not, uh, we didn't overdo it with the oil. We're just gonna make it pretty, uh, pretty simple here. Now we are using a high sided uh, Dutch oven here because we want to reduce the splatter. But if you want to do this in sort of a shallow fry in uh, like a saucepan, you can do that as well. We're going to flip this once because they're in <laughs> pretty shallow uh, and the tops are not getting uh, perfectly fried at this point. So we're going to flip that over once we've got golden on the bottom. And then once it is nice and golden all around and the uh, the bubbles have slowed down considerably, we're going to pull those out. Those are ready. You can see those are beautiful and golden. They are all set to go. A little sprinkle of salt on the outside of that. Uh, shortly after they come out of the oil, you want to make sure you're seasoning your fried foods uh, when they're still hot. And then we've got a pretty standard uh, uh, serving here, we've got some coleslaw, some fries, which we've made on the channel before, and you can see cooked all the way through. This was beautiful and moist. You can see how juicy that fish is in there. Um, the outside of the batter was excellent and crispy and just dead simple, super, super easy and absolutely delicious. We do hope that you'll give this one a try. If you like this recipe, please do like and subscribe. And if you have any recipes you'd like to see Chef Caleb try on the channel, please let us know in the comments below. And remember to love your food. <laughs>